Dr. Annie. Today on my channel, we are going to talk about how to find the one. So this isn't about dating apps or that type of thing. It's about helping yourself get into the right mindset and the right energy for that manifestation to come racing to you. Okay, we've got some good stuff today. First thing you want to do, and the first thing that's the most important, if you think about it, is to determine how you want to feel in this relationship with your partner for life or however long it's going to be. How do you want to feel? I want you to think about it and be deliberate. You want to feel loved, respected, excited, safe, proud, thrilled, taken care of, Keep going on and on and on until you really cover exactly how you want to be in this relationship. What I don't want you to do, and this is important, don't throw anything negative in there. Like, I don't want to be controlled. I don't want someone who abuses me, okay? Stay with all the positives. And there's a whole reason for that. And I did a whole other video. I'll have it pop up. Don't focus on the negatives. I learned the hard way so you don't have to. Once you have targeted all of those positive emotions, and I'm sure you did a great job of it, then I want you to imagine different scenarios with you and your forever person doing the things that you're excited to do. You can think about date nights and imagine that and imagine all the details of it. And then what's the most important part of that? Exactly right, how you wanna feel on that date, right? What sweet things do they do for you? Yes. Think about all of those and make like a little movie in your mind. And if you're not good at picturing things, maybe you could write down a little scenario and imagine what they say to you, how it makes you feel and little things like, do they open the door for you or do they bring you flowers or do they give you a nice hug or do they kiss you passionately? You know what I'm saying? You can imagine vacations. You can imagine anything. You can imagine cooking a meal in your dream kitchen. You can imagine anything you want to imagine. Going to the grocery store, I'm not kidding. Because <laughs> even going to the grocery store can be fun with your person, right? So take some time. And if you want to pause this video and really think about some scenarios, okay? So Either pause this video or do it at another time, but those are important because what it does is it helps your subconscious mind really believe that that's going to happen. And what that does is it A, sets up your energy for that manifestation, but B, things will come into your consciousness to help that happen. So when ideas occur to you, like go to this certain place or join this dating site or join this walking group or hiking group or photography group or whatever it is, go ahead and follow through on that because that's your subconscious mind trying to help this manifest for you. And then your third step is to think of fabulous affirmation statements as if it's already come true. So it would be things like, I have met the person of my dreams. And if you want to insert man or woman or whatever you want to say, I am so happy. I never thought I would be this in love. I feel so lucky every single day. Thank you, thank you, thank you that I met the perfect person for me. And go on and on with those affirmations. And what can be more beneficial is once you have those affirmations, to repeat them to yourself during the day. And sometimes when we're looking for the one, we can get caught up in them not being there, right? It's like, ugh, when's it going to happen? Why hasn't it happened yet? And all of those things. So when that starts to occur, either do this video or do what I'm saying in this video at that moment. And that'll really help you out because it'll feel so much better to imagine being in that relationship and having it happen right then, right? Because that's what these things are going to trigger you to do. Then worrying about it coming because it's going to come. It's going to happen. You know, it's going to happen. It's inevitable. Just know that. And I want to bring up now, if you had any resistance to anything I just said, you know it's going to happen. This is for you. You deserve love. I want you to look and see if you have any blocks in the way. 
And blocks can take the form of, I don't deserve this. Love is for everyone else, it's not for me. I'm not lovable, I'm not worth it, I'm not worthy, all of those type of things. And if any of that comes up and it feels true to you, what I want you to do is I want you to write down five things that state that that is not true, okay? Because those are blocks, they're limiting beliefs, ultimately they're not true, they're holding you back, and the only way to dissolve them is to name them and then have your mind come to the truth, right? And I also say to people, it's a block and a limiting belief and it's a lie if you would not say that to your best friend. And would you tell your best friend that they're not worthy of finding the love of their life? Never. I mean, if you did, you wouldn't have that best friend anymore, would you? So don't say it to yourself because it's not true, okay? So write down five reasons and it can be because everyone deserves love, because I am a human on this earth and I am meant to be happy. And if you run into more blocks, just write them down, okay? Because writing them down helps you release them. And writing down reasons they're not true helps you release them, okay? I hope this has helped you today. If you follow these steps and you're consistent with it, you're gonna see great results. Now, I'm not saying you'll find your person in the next 15 minutes, okay? You've gotta be consistent with this. And I would say over the next few months, you'll start to see things shift within yourself. And once things shift within you, things shift outside of you. And that makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, if you like this video, I would love if you would give it a like and subscribe because I'll be bringing more ways for you to eliminate your stress, be happier, and manifest the life of your dreams. And if you're interested, I just published my book that has all of my tips and tricks in it. It's called The Calm Code. And yes, it does make you calmer and happier, but I also have written out these steps in tools. And there's a bunch of different tools. If you're interested, that's on Amazon. It's called The Calm Code. Okay, thank you for sticking with me today and I will see you soon. I'm excited for you to find the love of your life. It's coming. Bye.